Hi, I'm David Berlin with ZDNet, and it's time for another one of my technology shakedowns. If you're like me, there's a chance that you may be a smartphone user. Maybe you're using the smartphone that I'm using, Motorola's Q. In my case, the Q is exemplary of a problem that many smartphone users apparently are having. Now, I know there's a new Q in the marketplace called the Q9. This one's connected to Verizon Wireless Services. It's the older Q, but it's got an interesting problem. If I turn the wheel on this, press any buttons, nothing seems to be happening on the display. Well, what's the problem? As it turns out, if I hit the red button, which you think is for off or stop, it brings the display to life, but nothing else works. None of these buttons work. I can't unfreeze the display. The device is frozen much the same way a PC locks up when you're trying to use a PC and it gets frozen. The problem? You manufacturers out there of smartphones have to think about these as phones first, not computers. They can't have the same problem that computers have where they lock up on you. They have to be more like phones. They constantly stay on, never go down on you, and you can always make a phone call when you have to. In the case of this device, in order for me to restart it and get it back to the functioning state that it was once in, I actually have to physically take the battery out of the phone to reboot it. And that's a pain in the neck because who knows how long it takes to restart a phone, just like it takes to reboot a computer. It can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute before your phone finally comes back to life. I don't know about other smartphones on the marketplace and how long it takes before you can make a phone call with them after a cold reset. I've certainly heard plenty of stories about how they all freeze up on their users from time to time. In the case of the Motorola Q, from the time that you remove the battery until the time that you can actually make a phone call is at least 45 seconds. So, a message to you cell phone carriers out there, as well as you smartphone manufacturers, you have to think twice about putting a cell phone on the market that takes so long before you can actually make a call after you've restarted the device. In fact, you need to think twice before putting a device in the market that has to go through reboots like my Motorola Q does. Now, if you've got an idea for a technology shakedown here on ZDNet, you need to let me know by writing to me at david.berlin at cnet.com. I want to hear about the problems that you're having with technology. For ZDNet, with another technology shakedown, I'm David Berlin.